In this video we're going to take a look at the unified challenge on Hack the Box. It's an easy stego challenge and the description says this file seems to contain innocuous innocuous information. What is the true message? So let's start by downloading the files. And we have this text file bod uh, underscore 30079.txt Let's take a copy of it to our local directory. And let's go and do some basic file checks. Again, this is a challenge that I solved over three years ago, so I'm not too sure what the solution was. So it's kind of new to me. So first of all, just double check the file type. It says it's uh, Unicode text. We can run strings dash n10. And we've got some strings here. Unicode is computing industry standard for consistent encoding, representation, and handling of text expressed in the most. Yeah, all right. So it's just some. Um, generic information about UTF-8 and then it says steganography is the practice of concealing messages within other non-secret text or data. The cover media may appear unremarkable at first glance and will requ require closer investigation. So all we have is the um, text file. If we paste out the if we cut out the entire text file we can see that we have some saying the system works in many languages and then it's converting to other, la um, other languages here it's failed to convert something so this may be, may be of, 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 of interest to us um, we could just anyway just as we usually do try to run binwalk on it see if it extracts anything it doesn't um, so let's go and try and investigate the Unicode stego. So I'm just going to run apt cache search first of all and just search for steg. I thought I saw something which had, yeah, steganography for used for hiding uh, in ASCII files. Okay. Um, so probably not going to work for us. Let's just open it out of interest. Is it a, G a GUI? No. Um, dash H. Okay. I'm going to give it dash f and then the name of this file. <laughs> yeah, all right, not much happening. All right, um, I don't think that's going to work anyway. It's saying ASCII text. So let's go and have a look for UTF-8 stego. So we have this link here, Iron Geek, Unicode text steganography encoders and decoders. We have this as well, a GitHub, a couple of GitHub links so we can work through these one by one check them out there's also um, an IEEE academic paper on it as well which if it was um, probably a, a more a harder challenge uh, I'd be surprised if an easy stego challenge would require going and look into experimental academic works so let's see here cover text to use let's see how this works the idea of this page is demo different ways of using Unicode and steganography. Mostly I'm using it for Twitter. I have some notes on the bottom about how these show up. Okay, most algorithms should work. This one uses non-printable tags in the range of... Okay, so let's say cover text to use. Uh, hello. Input. Output if decoding. Okay. Do I need to... Oh, this is the cover text. And then we're going to try and embed crypto in there. Need at least one space. Okay, a space in the cover text. Hello there. And then we'll do input as crypto. Okay, and then it's outputted the hello there. Um, now if I... The, what about decoding though? Decode. So we can see that the it's 17 real characters here. What if? Ah, okay. If we change that, it's now 23. All right. In this case, we're decoding. Let's decode. Hmm. Or okay, this is the input. If decoding, decode, and then there we go. We get crypto. Okay, cool. Right. Let's just let's just double check that. Um. So. Hi there. And then in the in here we'll say password, and then we'll encode it. We get this hi there, and then we'll get rid of all this, and we'll decode, 
and we can see that the password was inside that. So let's see if we can do this with our text. Let's open this up. I'm not going to be able to copy this bit though, am I? Um, okay. What about if I copy the whole thing? Decode. Ah, there we go. That's the flag. Alright, that was um, easier than expected. If we were to try it here, we don't get anything. If we were to try it here, decode, we don't get anything. So it needed to be the whole thing as well, presumably. Let's. What about if I would have just used this bit? Decode. That actually. Okay, so it's this bit here. Let me verify that. I'm going to take this bit out. The, all the question marks. Take those out and copy that. Paste that in and decode. And then we don't get the flag. So the flag was just this bit right here. And again, we can paste it in there. We can decode. Cool. All right. Well, I'll um, give. I'll provide a link to this in the description. I'd be interested to know. Does CyberChef include anything like this as well? Presumably, some of these other tools would have worked for us as well uh, through GitHub. Looks quite. Looks quite similar here. Looking just even at the description. I wonder if we could though do Unicode um, text format. Okay, maybe not. Try and do magic. No. No. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just let's check that out. Anyway. All right. Well, that's been the um, unified challenge. A nice, quick one for us. Hope you've enjoyed. Enjoyed it anyway. And any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks.